Man, the more I see it, the more I like that black hole image. There's a guy who wants to talk to you. Hey everybody. Okay, this one will definitely be short. I'm hoping to have a chance to do a reaction video to the new Star Wars teaser today, so look for that as well. Today's comment is just from me. You know, I've had a chance to look at this image of M87's black hole, and uh, I think about it, and the more I do, the better it gets. One, because I get a kick out of the idea that even dead, Einstein is still dunking on his detractors. Boom! How do you like these nuts, Nicola? But more than anything, it's a vindication of theoretical physics and thought experiments themselves. Detractors like to say, nobody knows, it's all theory. Math isn't reality. You can't test these things, so it's all just belief. But this was a test. Einstein and people before him, all the way up to the team led by 29-year-old Katie Bauman, sat down and thought. They thought. And they used math, and they developed ideas, and they did more math, and they discarded ideas. And through that process, they said, these things should exist. They should have these properties. And they would look something like this. And if we look here, we should find it. And if we do these things, we should be able to see it. That's just theory. That's not reality, people said. Scientists said, hey, that object right there, that's what we're talking about. Let's look at it and see if we're right. Boom. Just a theory became reality. Look at that thing. Don't you science deniers ever get tired of being wrong? I'm reminded uh, that we've been through this before, but at the opposite end of the scale. Anybody who's taken chemistry, and even those who haven't, have seen the diagrams of molecules, right? with the atoms and the little patterns, with the bonds between them. And I remember as a little kid asking, how do they know this is what they look like? And teachers would say, they did the math. They figured out what the atoms were through experiments, and then they used math to figure out what positions things should be in. And the young me would think, really? So they'd never seen one? Well, they're too small, they would say. Pfft. The young skeptic that I was would say. But technology got better, and eventually we got to the point where we could get images of molecules, and damn, they were right. Generations before the technology existed to see these structures, people sat down and thought about it, did the math, and figured it out. And the math was proven by reality, both here and here. Now, I know the science-denying crowd will likely put out videos laughing and saying, really? This is what your $52 billion a day budget comes up with? You expect me to believe that? But they do that because they have no science on their side. So they have no other choice but to denigrate that which they cannot achieve themselves. Now, I know the science deniers don't have the kind of money that NASA and these other research facilities have to do these big projects, but they don't need that type of money. Hell, you've got people making $10,000 challenges, and for $10,000, you can get a damn good telescope with much better optics than a P1000. Those images of planets you say are faked? With 10 k you could see the phases of Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, the moons, clear as a bell. But those observations would go against your claims, so you can't do that. No, better to laugh at the accomplishments of others and challenge people to go do the science you can't or are unwilling to do yourselves. And that's okay. Laugh all you want. It's the only tool you'll have. You should use it. Meanwhile, real scientists are exploring a new frontier. Take care, everybody. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.